Hey guys, so today I want to share with you some really cute and inexpensive DIYs from the Dollar Tree. I do have some also from Hobby Lobby, but you'll see that later. But basically, I just want to create a couple of little accessories for my planner for Halloween. And I saw a bunch of little goodies at the Dollar Tree. I've hauled it, so if you watch my hauls and you've seen me haul these items. But when I had hauled them, I knew exactly that I wanted to do planner DIYs. So what I'm showing you here are these little glittery bats that have alligator clips on the end. But as you can see, I just kind of removed it from the body. And the body body of these bat wings are foam so it did tear a little bit of the foam out but I'm fine with that because I'm just using it for myself so I didn't mind that you could see the little white foam in the back so I am using some Dollar Tree paper clips these are the vibrant neon colors that came out during um, school supply section time in like July August so I am picking out the color of my paper clips first and then I'm hot gluing it down and then I have a bucket full of rhinestones and I like adding the rhinestones just to make the back of the paper clip very very pretty so I'm just going with um, my favorite Halloween colors for paper clips like purple and orange and green The next set of paper clips I just think is such a cute idea and these are the little finger puppets that are in the Halloween section and it's like party favors as well from the Dollar Tree and they come in a packet of three and I was showing you that I already did one except on that orange mummy or whatever he was I put the paper clip on the inside where you would put the finger and I really didn't like the stability so I decided that I was going to put the paper clip on the back of the finger puppet and it works out perfectly so now I'm moving on to creepy crawlies these are just a bag of weird little creepy things from the Dollar Tree and I picked out some of my favorites the ant the skeleton the spider I really didn't like the cockroaches or any of the like centipedes or whatever those things were um, but if you just want to do a full bag of paper clips you obviously can see how many options are in the little creepy crawly bag. So here's my skeleton and I really liked him, but I didn't like putting the paper clip at the very bottom because it just made him look weird. And so I decided I was gonna place the paper clip hidden behind his back, but I was putting him up against my planner to see where he would fall if I clipped him in. So I liked the way it was. It was really cute because like his head sticks out from my planner and then his body like is on the planner which you'll see later I don't even know if that made any sense um, so he I set him off to dry and now I'm doing the ant and for both of these I decided to go with a gold paper clip I just kind of like the look and I wanted to change it up so I'm just finding a spot on his back and gluing that down Okay, so this is another bat option, bat option number two from the Dollar Tree. These bats are some of my favorite Halloween decor items that Dollar Tree has put out this year. They are incredible. I haven't used them for their intended use yet, but as paper clips, they're completely adorable. I have a purple option, which you'll see later, but I just wanted a really pretty bat glittery paper clip. And here are my Hobby Lobby paper clips. So these are bows and these are the prices, but fall and Halloween is 40% off right now. So I did not pay $5 or $3 for those. So first is my ghost paper clip and he's one of my favorites. He is the cutest little ghost ever. And because his tail kind of curves in, you want to decide how you want him to appear when you do place him on the paper clip because my daughter's friend actually did a couple of these paper clips and she kind of put the ghost sideways as, as if he was flying but I wanted him to be very um, vertical if that makes any sense and now I'm going to move on to the last DIY which are my Dollar Tree planner elastic bands this is one planner DIY that I have been waiting to do ever since I hauled those plastic bands okay so these are actually headbands right and that's the intended use you could get them for a little girl you could use it for working out but as soon as I saw them and I saw the purple the yellow and the orange option I knew immediately that I wanted those for Halloween so I'm taking those stick on bats and here's that purple I was talking about and I'm simply going to glue it down that's it 
there's no like trick or anything. Um, the bow did come off very easily. I barely tugged at it, but if you put the right amount of hot glue and you treat it right, it really shouldn't fall off. And if it does, reapply some hot glue. Okay, so now I'm taking the black bat and I'm playing with the ghost as well. The black bat on the yellow was very Batman, so if you want to do a Batman spread, here you go. How cute would that be? I didn't really want a Batman spread, so I put the black bat on the orange, and then I put the ghost on the yellow paper clip. And that is it, you guys. It's very simple and easy to do. I also have this little pom-pom keychain that I hauled from Dollar Tree as well, so I kind of wanted to remove my white and gold from my Target Dollar Spot planner and kind of make it more Halloween-y. And if anyone's wondering, yes, I am still planning in this planner. I just really haven't had the time to plan in it yet. So, but hopefully I'm gonna get right back into it. I'm just showing you what all of the little items I made, what it looks like and how well it wraps and closes your planner. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you really soon in another DIY. Have a really great weekend. Bye guys.